I want to practice an extended inch and out glide to get experience judging distance and turns to land without power. But I want to do so safely and without potentially harming the engine. This time in the ABS hangar, simulated engine out glide performance. simulation of glide performance in the Bonanza. This is not an accurate portrayal of the actual events of an engine failure glide. In other words, we're not going to have the gear and the flaps up, the prop all the way back, all of that sort of thing. This is instead going to be a simulation of the performance that you will get in a glide if you were in that glide configuration. We found from our earlier demonstration that at best glide speed in the glide configuration, gear up, flaps up, cow flaps closed, propeller to the low RPM, that in wings level glide, the airplane gets approximately eight to nine hundred foot per minute rate of descent and that's very close to the published glide performance the 10.2 to 1 or the 1.7 nautical mile uh, per 1,000 foot of altitude lost published in the POH. So we're going to, to make it a little easier on the engine, we're going to do the simulation with some power and then use drag to produce the glide performance that we expect at glide speed. But we're going to keep a little manifold pressure in, 14, 15 inches probably will work. And importantly, we're going to keep the propeller in a normal cruise position so it's available if we need it for a go-around. Because a go-around is always a possibility out of this demonstration. As a matter of fact, a go-around, you might brief your student that a go-around is, is a perfectly acceptable result. We want to get experience in judging the glide performance. And if you don't make it to your touchdown spot on the runway, go around in the simulation. But what's most important here is to get a, a little bit of experience in the simulation of the glide. Now to conduct this performance, or conduct this demonstration, we're going to choose an appropriately low traffic airport, and we're going to enter the demonstration approximately 2,500 feet above field elevation. So in this case, between 3,900 and 4,000 feet for our Wichita area airport. So I'm over my airfield, I'm turning on kind of an upwind leg at my practice altitude, my entry altitude. And I'll start slowing the plane down, cooling the engine. I'll bring it back to about 18 inches, 17 to 18 inches of manifold pressure, my approach configuration. Right now I'm turning over the downwind leg of this pattern just to get myself into position to begin the maneuver. We're going to begin the maneuver 2,500 feet above field elevation, flying parallel to our landing runway, runway basically under the left wing tip, and this of course assumes that you have appropriate airspace within which to work. And once again I'm going to go into the simulated condition, which is gear down, under the green, four six green, no red. Approach flaps. Copy, America. Skyhawk 70. Power back. West side at now, when beginning the glide, fire. you're almost doing a turn.
turn around a point around your touchdown spot. And my touchdown spot are the touchdown zone markers, those white rectangles on runway 15 down there. I'm at my best glide speed. My rate of descent is about seven to nine hundred. If you find you're a little high, you can push the nose down and go faster to increase rate of descent and then pull it back when you're ready. Right. Best glide speed. Trimmed for that, I have to tweak the power back as manifold pressure increases during the descent. So gear down, approach flaps, approximately 14 inches of manifold pressure, steady state of about 800 foot per minute rate of descent, plus or minus. I'm turning into what's called the key position, a beam my touchdown spot on the downwind leg. And I need to be about 1,500 feet above field elevation at that point for the glide to work. In other words, I lost about 1,000 foot of altitude making a 180 degree turn at best glide speed. From this point, you're flying the Power Off 180 Accuracy Approach Maneuver taught on the commercial pilot syllabus. You're still down. Traffic, Now you can adjust just a little bit as needed. If you're a little high, you can put the nose down for some speed to increase rate of descent. And then you can recapture that energy. And we're still making a tight gliding turn. At best glide speed, resisting the temptation to pull back too much. El Dorado traffic, Bonanza 504 Sierra Julia, turning short final 15 El Dorado, simulated engine failure. And at this point, this is where in an engine out, you're a little high, which is good. You're going to do two things. You would extend your gear. I'm going to simulate that by putting out full flaps and pulling the power back. And you'll transition from best glide speed to landing without power speed, which is about 83 knots. Terminal to 15 warm up area. Motorado. This video is part of the American Bonanza Society's Beechcraft Essential Systems and Techniques course free to members in the ABS Online Learning Center. Log in or become a member at bonanza.org. Don't miss another edition of the ABS Hangar. Subscribe to the American Bonanza Society YouTube channel. We'll see you next time in the ABS Hangar.